This may be the most massive spit of meat I've ever seen in my life. Actually, are about to try something famous in here, like this one. It's very famous, so we have to try it. All right, let's go. We originally came to Besiktas for something else you're gonna see in a little while but when you come to Besiktas you can't not stop here unless you don't eat meat. This is probably the most famous donut kebab in all of Istanbul. This may be the most massive spit of meat I've ever seen in my life. Maybe only rivaled by some of the al pastor in Mexico City which is a similar concept roasting meat on a spit like this but this is the doner. Doner is very famous here in Turkey. It's a mix of lamb and veal and this is a beautiful thing. The flame is very heavy you can hear the sizzle and it's not like typical doner you may see throughout Istanbul. It's actually a little bit thicker sliced. Some of them, they're very paper thin slices. This is a little bit thicker. And what makes this one really special is that they bake their own bread, their own pide bread for this, which is really next level. Oh man, that meat is just soaking up in that bread. The meat is just so incredibly juicy. You really taste that lamb flavor in there, and I love the way the bread just soaks up that meat. This place is just, they pump these out so quickly. It's like a real machine here. They, they got a well oiled machine going on here. Been around his night 73, very famous. Everyone come to Istanbul, as long as you eat meat, you gotta come try this donut. Delicious. What's amazing is you can really see the drippings coming out of that meat when it goes down. It even drips onto the tomato and pickles there. Love this place. Legendary for good reason. That was just an appetizer. Mm -hmm. We're heading to the main event. But there's a reason why it was just an appetizer. You're going to see why. <laughs> Another very famous area here in Besiktas. Look at this spread right here. Turkish breakfast is a big deal here in Turkey. And we are at the Turkish breakfast lane or Turkish breakfast street here in Besiktas. And um, the reason why we chose this place apparently is because it's, this is the OG of it. But wow, everything is in here. You have your vegetables, you have your salty food, you have your dessert. This is not the first time also trying Turkish breakfast. Our host, our Airbnb host, treated us earlier of our stay to a Turkish breakfast. Now, let's feast. So we're in a spot called Shakmak Kavalta. Kavalta, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. It means breakfast in Turkish. 
and Turkish breakfast is legendary. This is a really nice looking spread. They have three options here. We got the second one. It's not as crazy on the options. I don't know how we would have finished it. This looks quite manageable. I think this menemen is calling my name. Menemen is made with egg, pepper, tomato. It's a little soft. It's actually quite soft when you pick it up. Slightly runny. It smells delicious. Mm. Wow. I love it because you really don't get that eggy flavor. You really get the flavor of just tomatoes. The tomatoes are really kind of embedded themselves into that egg. And it's nice. There's some spices in here too. Olive oil can taste delicious. Mm. Incredible egg dish. I was really curious when this arrived. It's called ajuka. It's a red, it's walnut and it's supposed to have a spicy walnut spread. That is incredible. I'm gonna taste paprika. I think it's a little bit cumin here. It is absolutely delicious. Yeah, let's give it a good slather. Look at that. Oh, it's a beautiful red color. Mm. We've gotten off to an incredible start here. This ajuka. I gotta wonder if we can ask for more of this. That's how good it is. We're off into the sweeter part of this breakfast. I like you can gravitate from savory to sweet or even mix the two up. This is the pishi, if I pronounce it. It's fried dough. Very traditional for breakfast here. Very airy inside. And this will go really nicely with some Nutella. Like that. A nice generous dollop of Nutella. That's just another sinful bite when you add in that Nutella. That gluttonous fried dough with that sweet, creamy Nutella. Oh man. But also really a big part of this breakfast is this kaimak. It's called, it's clotted cream, and it's surrounded by this honey. Clotted cream, it's a little bit like yogurt, but it definitely has a distinct flavor. Actually, a lot creamier taste, and that honey is not too sweet, doesn't overwhelm it. Also quite nice. Tucked on these unassuming fries is what's called sigara borei. Cigarette means cigarette. It's shaped like a cigarette. So it's actually a flaky exterior inside this cheese, and there's actually bits of dill inside. Mm. Oh man. I'm a dill lover, and just the fact that there's so much dill in here makes it so nice. And that cheese that's inside is very understated. Actually, even when I first bit into it, I thought it was mashed potato, actually. And uh, it's funny how it's flaky on the outside, but very soft inside. That dill makes this a winner. It's delicious. Hey, Amazing. <laughs> Stuffed. Oh. Welcome. Do you have the breakfast? Woo. We already have so much. <laughs> I mean, this is just so cool, it's the whole breakfast street here. Like it loops around and there's no cars. It's like a little alley, it's beautiful. It's like it's such a relaxed, cool vibe here. We're quite wondering if there's one in New York City because <laughs> we haven't seen, it would be a big deal in New York City. Brunch, mmm, but Man. And uh, it's also really popular because this area, there's a university nearby. It's very popular with the students here. Uh, we hear they, they come often on weekends for breakfast. Yeah. Now here at the park, and this park is a little high on the ground. Like you can see skyline from across the street. There's a tram right here and we are at Mashka Mashka Park. And in this part of the episode where you buy us a coffee, we do the walking and mostly the drinking, thanks to you down here below for making this even more possible. Now, help us support more local shops like this one by buying us a coffee and more. Thank you. After all that food and all that chai, I still need to have more caffeine. And what better place to do it than this spot right here called, it's called Kalavi. This is a short walk away from our Turkish breakfast spot. And look how massive this coffee is. And this is the small. 
of the two. They actually have two sizes. This is the cardamom coffee and this is the smaller one, which is unbelievable. It's got a beautiful foam on top. Anytime you see cardamom coffee in the menu, you always have to order it. This is really different than any other Turkish coffee I've tried here at Istanbul. It's like extra strong. Something different in that flavor. Almost a little more like an espresso taste to it. They do something, I think they use a special kind of coffee here. It's really good. That cardamom flavor comes in perfectly at the end. Wow.